so that being said guys um we are starting the live stream now and um, this is how it's gonna go for the newcomers here so uh that will be a live stream that is going to make a free readings for whole 12 star signs and amongst the uh amongst those readings i'm gonna stop for a brief break and within that break i'm gonna make a poll of a question of your question and one of those question questions i'm sorry is going to be selected and a, a professional reading is going to be performed on it so if you do want a free reading that is uh, by me conducted by me that is uh, the way you uh, obtain one you follow those live streams and input your question uh, when I stop reading for the star signs. Another thing it is that if you do want your own private reading, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed here into the post, and there you're gonna find a full list of my services, their pricing, and you can choose the service that is gonna suit you best, and it fits with uh, your budget. Another thing, I'm sorry about the anointments, but it's just I have to make that these announcements. So another thing it is that at 21st of June, uh, my new tarot class sessions are starting. So if you do like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, you can sign up for that class. It's a six weeks long a, uh, tarot course, which uh, contains one lecture per week with a duration of roughly around an hour and a half and two hours. And uh, pretty much by the end of those six uh, lectures, you are gonna know all about the major, the major, the, oh my God, the major arcana, and uh, how to read only with major arcana, and uh, you're gonna be set to do your own uh, personal and hopefully as well a private readings. So that being set aside, um, hello to everybody uh, that have tuned in, and we are moving with the first star sign to see how that full moon is going to. Uh, apply to them and that will be the star sign of Gemini it is because we are into Gemini season Right, so about Gemini, we do have the Seven of Cups uh, accompanied from another side with the Six of Swords and from the other side here is going to be by the World card. So we do have a very interesting combo here, that one, the Seven of Cups and the World. So first of all, this is a, a passive friends type of combo and it kind of points to, um, well, it is like, Wow, that's uh, so funny to explain. So I will try to approach it with an example. So think of it as uh, like you do have a dream, right? And uh, beforehand, it, it was just a fantasy. And now it turns out that it can be actually a seed growing. Why? Well, because the world here takes a very advanced stage, an advanced form to the Seven of Cups, it kind of points that you have already finalized the majority of your endeavors in your enterprise and you are very ready to a new, um, how can I say, not new direction, but a new perspective in life. And you can definitely a, adopt some sort of a dream of yours to become your new goal and to become your new uh, inspiration, if you will, Gemini. And that fits perfectly as we do observe the other combo here, which is the Seven of Cups with the Six of Swords. This is a passive neutral type of combo. And uh, it does point that now things are not gonna look as difficult as you thought they are going to, that they are going to be. Nonetheless, it does point that you don't have to risk or invest nearly as much as you thought that you uh, that originally it would have cost you. That could be about buying a house. It could be about starting a business. It could be about starting a relationship as well. I mean, you, you, you may have thought that it will require a great sacrifice to be with a specific person. And it turns out that that's not really the case right now. It is because you have completed the majority of the requirements that that person has towards you. All in all, we can say for you, Gemini, is that this uh, lunar eclipse is going to give you a lot of clearance 
to make your dream come true, dreams, I'm sorry, come true. One thing um, I was going to say before I close Gemini reading, it is that it is likely that things may not happen from a first try, okay? And that should not discourage you because the Seven of Cups actually shields you from a failure. It's, it makes it so that you bounce back with, yeah, being disappointed, but you bounce back not behind or below the uh, the line of no return, all right? And you can try anew. So it's very important not to get yourself discouraged if things are not going flawlessly at the very first try of yours. So that was about Gemini. Now moving next, uh, we do have Cancer. Hello, Lee. Christina, we do have quite a long way to go before we reach Aries, but we are getting there. Right, so let's uh, let's have a look about Cancer. Now, the first one for Cancer is going to be the Ten of Cups, accompanied with the Four of Pentacles. And from the other side here, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. So uh, we do have a double of an active neutrals type of combo and so what those three cards are actually pointing for cancer it is that cancer now will stop relying on peripheral circumstances just to give you an example of it, you know you're going to stop relying that your neighbor is going to give you a hand with uh, say you know sorting up your lawn not your lawn but your uh, your metal right but instead, you're going to get the things into your own personal hands. And that actually is going to uh, exert a lot of, not control, but dominance into your career and into your relationship. And as we are talking about career, things are happening like that. Instead of relying, you know, on a coworker of yours to do a certain job so you can so you can do your own job, you're going to get the two jobs simultaneously and that will give you a lot of margin to maneuver moving forward into the future. The thing with the Ten of Wands here, guys, is that you need to know that you are signing for a lot, for a, for a, a lot, all right, for a lot of benefits at the end, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And uh, you have to give a lot in return. There are certain things that you need to accomplish there in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well. And um, the, if we can say it from a negative standpoint here with those two cards, which are a active neutrals, uh, things cannot be a 100% secure in the sense of that you cannot always move into a, in an insured way that something is to be accomplished or not. What, what I'm trying to say is that at some point you will have to take certain re risks, but those risks, because these cards are in neutrals to one another, those risks are not going to be that major and they're not going to have a very big negative uh, repercussions, even in case you kind of like fail. Although, should you follow the um, uh, the rules and the code of conduct of the endeavor and the enterprise that you are trying to accomplish, it is highly and I, and I mean extremely unlikely that you are to fail. I mean, you, you really need to suck in what you are doing so you can achieve a negative result. And it's I, I personally believe that that's pretty much impossible here having those cards. But yet, um, I can say here for you, Cancer, it is that the time of waiting and relying on foreign and exterior circumstances is over and now you have to take on the things into your own personal hands so uh, that was about cancer now moving next we do have leo hello donna hopefully you enjoy the stream hopefully you enjoy the show um and yeah, if you do want a free reading, you should stay for the uh, for the break where I'm going to make a pool and I'm going to select one question from the audience that I'm going to read for free, conducting a completely professional reading. That is not going to be one card reading, guys. It will be a four card full spread reading over your question that will give hopefully as much as information as possible to make a decision, you know, or to uh, at the very least to know how your situation is going forward. So uh, for Leo, now the first card here is going to be the Nine of Pentacles accompanied with the Knights of Wounds, uh, followed by, wow, the Tower. <laughs> so we do have a passive neutrals 
And pretty much for Leo, uh, this is where they really manage a crisis and they are managing, uh, how can I say, a, a times of turmoil that which would have been times of turmoil under normal circumstances. But now Leo are having the resources, the confidence and as well the, um, the, the strong backbone, if you will, to stand against the, um, the odds and actually to overcome the odds. So here, instead of um, going through rather unpleasant circumstances of a transformation that you are under go through, and by the way, that, transfor that transformation, uh, it's all about a leap into development, okay? That is transformation, for example, into your career, so you can leap into development of your career. That would have mean, you know, I um, signing up a very, very strong business deal, the business deal of the century, or getting promoted or getting a salary raise, maybe a new job as well. But the thing is that you're gonna have in mind a pretty clear way of how you want to accomplish, you know, your goal in terms of career and relationship. And this is gonna be a way that will be deprived of problems. And that, that way you are to very slippery avoid the unpleasant circumstances that are dwelling throughout the road toward your um, toward your triumph. So pretty much here, um, Leo, I would say that you are going to dodge a bullet, right? And not just only dodging a bullet, but as well, at the end, you are to end up either lucrative, either successful or either love. Now, should you cash on on these, um, on these benefits? Well, that depends entirely on you guys, whatever you decide, okay? Because when I say love, okay, you may not want to want that love, but that doesn't mean that the love is not there, okay? So that was about Leo. Now, moving next, we do have uh, Virgo. So for Virgo, the first one is going to be the Knights of Wands. Moving next, we do have the Devil. And the last one here is going to be the Seven of Wands. So we are definitely talking about um, like uh, either a proposition or an opportunity. You know, something that is going to happen. It's completely peripheral. It's completely out of your hand. But it is, it will appear itself as everything you have ever wanted. Okay, that could be. Um, where you are approached by a person that you would always want to be with a person like that moving forward in life, right? Or it could be a proposition for a job that you have always wanted to work about. Now, there is nothing wrong into taking on this offer, okay? But not for every Leo, this offer is going to be a, a positive offer. So it's very important here to um, make your research and to see this, this, uh, oh my God, is this thing going to truly work for you, okay? And this is because we do have these combo. Now, the first one here, it is a active supporters. And as active supporters, those two cards are saying a couple of things. First of all, no matter how sugar-coated it looks like, you need to have the strength to resist the temptation, to jump prematurely into it. I mean, you can you can make your research and score a better contract moving into your job or a better, how can I say, um, better conditions jumping into a newly formed relationship or current relationship, if you will. And from the other side, we do have the devil with the Knights of Wands, which is a active neutrals pointing that if you skip on this one, another one is going to find you, all right? That doesn't mean that you are missing the chance of your life here. It just only looks like a chance of your life. It could be an awesome one for some of you, but it could be a devastating thing for others. So uh, I'm saying that because throughout those uh, couple of weeks, uh, Virgo, did I say Leo? I, I, I'm reading for Virgo. So um, throughout these two couple of weeks, a <laughs> couple of weeks, Virgo, uh, you have to be extremely careful what kind of enterprises you are throwing yourself into because some of them may be way too good to be true and you need to take your time to weigh your options and as well to make your research in what exactly you are throwing yourself into or what exactly you are involving yourself into. 
Otherwise, it does look like that those couple of weeks are going to be very enthusiastic, quite energetic, quite enterprising as well. And in many, um, in many occasions, you are going to know what to do, when to do it and how to do it exactly. So that was about... Um, That was about uh, Virgo now. The first pool is happening. So if you do want your question answered uh, by a professional reading conducted by me, now is the time where you input your question um, until and uh, yeah, I'll wait for a couple of minutes until uh, the questions accumulate. And then I'm going to um, cho choose one or rather like a pick one. So while the questions are accumulating, should you want your private reading, um, you can purchase one at my website, which is uh, listed here in the post. And there on the very front page, you're going to find a full list of my services. And as well, there are pricing, so you can choose a service that will suit your needs and as well will answer to your budget. And also, if you enjoy the way I read tarot cards and you are considering start reading tarot cards for yourself or by yourself, I am... Um, Organizing tarot courses, actually the new tarot course starts, the beginner's tarot course starts the 21st of June and it's a six weeks long tarot class. Um, each, year, each week we do have a, um, a session uh, which is with length from an hour and a half to two hours. Well, it's two hours only, the last one is a little bit shorter than that. And um, there I'm explaining a, the full um, manifestation of the major arcana into a dedicated spread of mine that you can use for only for reading with only my, oh my god for reading with major arcana only and uh, at the end of even the beginners class you will be set to do your own personal and hopefully as well private reading afterwards so if you do want to sign up for that uh, you can go to my website as well into the uh, and under the tarot classes section you can purchase the course. why the western astrology is uh, different than vedic it is because the planets moves i mean the universe stretch stretches and vedic astrology calculates the uh, celestial events based on a um ancient alignment okay but as the universe stretches the alignment now is different and so western or the modern astrology checks on the transits based on the current positions of the planet so pretty much the vedic astrology shows what the influence would have been if the if the universe doesn't stretch which is not untrue okay it, it still probably has some incorporation while the western astrology shows the exact stationary moment of the planet so i don't know which one is uh, better than the other so let's have a look uh, Let's have a look over the questions and choose one. Thank you, Karen. Oh my God, Pisces Moonbeam is now tuning in and it is educating me the difference in between the, the Western and the Vedic astrology. Okay, so Western astrology goes uh, by the signs in the skies, also known as tropical. Vedic goes by the constellations. So that is the difference. Oh my God. Okay. 
So we do have a winner here and that would be Donna Lee and Donna asks would like to hear how things will turn out with my ex-partner. So I do believe in between you and your ex-partner and not only for your ex-partner because these are two different kind of readings. Okay, One is checking only on his endeavors in his life and the other reading is about the endeavors that may happen in between you and him moving forward All right so let's have a look Alright, so Donna, the first card that we do have for you that is going to be wow, the High Priestess. Moving next, we do have the Tree of Cups, followed by uh, the Queen of Cups. And the last one here that we do have, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Oh my God. Right, so uh, things are going to be very slowly developing in between you and your ex. First of all, you and your ex are definitely... Um, not going to sever your emotional connection so lightly. As a matter of fact, you have already made um, a pretty, how do you say it, a trace, probably a trace within each, one, each one's souls. And even if you decide uh, to move forward with your life, are you always going to be a part of each other's heart, if that makes sense? So let me just um, wait a second here to give you a, a time frame. All right, so that will be, yeah, I, I told you that is going to be a long time before that, uh, before that thing resolves. So it is literally one year, the first week of June next year. This is what we do have here. And um, these are the cards. So um, things are going to develop very, very slowly in between you and uh, your ex. Pretty much uh, what we are coming, uh, what, what we are kind of like coming into it is the three of cups into the second position, which is actually a, a negative position in the spread. So um, as a negative position in the spread, three of cups does point that despite that you do have an emotional connection, that emotional connection does not help you to see the future through the same vision, meaning that you and your ex does have a different understanding what the future should be in terms of a relationship. That card is also not very good having it there to maintain also a, a friendly type of a um, type of a relationship, if you will. Um, so what we do have, it is that first of all, you need to give your ex a quite of a time so your ex can kind of like heal or recuperate or kind of come to his senses. And uh, most likely, uh, as the time progresses within this year, your ex is going to come back to you for a certain enterprises. Uh, well, obviously, he will not obviously, but most likely he is going to need to share something with somebody. I mean, emotional share or is going to need a help. Uh, pretty much he is going to need a shoulder uh, to cry on a little bit. And this is where you tap in. And this is how you win your ex back. If that's uh, if that's what you are after. OK. And at June next year, the very first week of June next year, uh, this is where the that thing either makes or either moves forward or breaks for good. OK, with the Ten of Swords. And in this particular case, the Ten of Swords points that at that specific time, uh, you cannot stall it any, any longer into, neither of you can stall it any longer into a state of limbo where you are neither friends you are neither partners and you have to decide are you going to be together or you're gonna have or you're gonna have your life parted away for good forever and that will be a drastic irreversible decision so when that time comes all the pride and all the shyness you know and all the how can i say it all the all the ego should be set aside because whatever you decide it will be final, it will be definitive, it, there is no going back from it, okay? And at that point, 
uh, you both of you are going to draw a line or draw the line and kind of make a retrospection what the life that you do had together gave you and what took away from you and whichever beats the other what i mean is that if the positive beats the negative then most likely that relationship will move forward if the negative beats the positive then it will be um forever lost that's why throughout the duration of this year you have to accumulate as much positive experience with your ex as possible so that is uh, that is your reading hopefully you enjoyed it But if your question is, does your ex uh, still loves you? I would say rather yes. Right, couple of minutes, guys, and we're moving to the next four star signs. You're welcome. The other pool happens um, after Capricorn. So if you want your question answered and uh, it was not picked up right now, you will have another chance in the next break. So stick around. And by the way, if you do want to support me, all that you got to do is just share this live stream. That That's all. Okay. Hello, Theresa. No, I haven't done Scorpio yet. Scorpio. Oh my God. Scorpio is yet to be conducted. All right. So let's uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we are going to move to the next four star signs, which are going to be Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius and Capricorn. So for Libra, the first one is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by, wow, the uh, Knights of Cups. And we do have the Emperor. Mm, that's not very, <laughs> not very good with the Emperor having it here. So what we do have, it is a passive supporters, and then we do have a passive enemies here. Um, right, so ju just give me a second, okay? Because that's a bit that's a bit strange between the Emperor and the Knight of the Nine of Cups. It pretty much points uh, the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. It is when the things you have settled in for uh, it's not even settling in. That is when you have um, adopted some sort of a um, a resp I will say it that way a responsibilities or some sort of ways. Uh, save it's it's a career thing okay you have adopted a project you start working on that project and you suddenly realize that, that is not the thing making you happy okay and you want to change it and instead you are redirecting or reshuffling yeah redirecting resources as time money and so on and so forth into things that are actually going to make you happy so this week um Libra, it's a uh, it's a really week where you have to th these couple of weeks. I mean, it's a uh, it's a couple of weeks where you have to ask yourself a, your a question: Is your life right now a life that you really want? Because because if it is not, you can make it so to be a life that you would really love 
to live because you do have with those cards um, all necessary pre prerequisites and as well means if you will to have a sensual joy life fulfillment even ecstasy at some points and you definitely do have in the possessions things as an enterprises or, or as an object maybe people as well that can definitely make you extremely happy but what you need to know is that if those things are not nurtured and they are not how can i say maintained and sustained this happiness this life fulfillment if you will is going to be a short lasting and in order for you to make it a long lasting one you have to put say an effort you know to maintain the things that makes you happy uh, that is because the knights of cups does operate only by um performance what i mean it is that things are not happening under the energy of the knights of cups because you deserve them they do happen because you work for them and that's why if you enjoy your work and you want to have a an improvement into your work you have to make more work and you're going to have the improvement but the thing is that if you do stay at one place eventually uh, or you are doing the same thing over and over again eventually the happiness of and the pleasure of doing it is going to start a bait and you're going to start hating it at the end of those couple of weeks okay so you have to maintain and even improve on the things that makes you happy because you are going to have and you will have a lot of things that are going to make you happy you may have your love you know you may have your um career chance and etc etc but the week itself it will give you or it will predispose you of having your life fulfilled and it all comes to that can you capitalize and can you grow on it because if you can't then from a short-term happiness it will become into long-term deprivation and as well hatred you you simply gonna start hating it Right, so that was about uh, Libra. Now moving next, we do have Scorpio. Wow, all right, so for Scorpio, the first one is the Nine of Pentacles. That's very promising, all right? Moving next, we do have the Five of Swords. And then we do have the Strength Card. I, right now i just want to throw them out of my window to be honest so what we do have uh, with those three cards as a scorpio is that we can seriously shoot ourselves into our foot okay with um not exactly with ignorance but how do you say when you are cocky okay well, when you don't pretty much measure your actions and measure your words if you will it's just those cards are pointing that we are not as far as we think we are with uh, with our relationship endeavors with our business endeavors as well we are definitely no not ready to make um a huge leap into development here okay and we have to hold on our horses a little bit longer so we can attend to the final flaws into our strategy or into our relationship or into our career as well okay because otherwise we're gonna miss the big deal here okay we're going to miss the uh the big opportunity that is going is going to come to us it may come to us as well throughout these couple of weeks but if we are reckless and if we are way too hasty to take it ultimately we may get what we are signing for but we may pay more than we are actually gonna know so just to give you an example you know that could be an appearance of a person that it will be an amazing for you to have as a, a boyfriend or as a, a girlfriend and etc etc and you can be with them that that's no problem whatsoever just so a couple of months later to realize that they have devoured all of your life right and that you are nothing else but a slave to their wishes and to and to their life in general so it will be very important throughout those couple of weeks we as a scorpio to be very calculative and to be driven only by the um 
by the circumstances of the enterprise and not by the reward at the end okay just because the reward is very shiny it doesn't mean that we will come for free once again we may pay more than we are actually gonna get at the end that's uh, that's a bummer and the worst is with these two that mean that we are going to be very susceptible to um, it's not really a temptation but someone to play with our enthusiasm okay to cash in on that because that person or or that organization for example will know what we like and how we like it and they may twist that information or use that information to put us under in a situation where we are going to become as a victim of the circumstances at the end of the day so my appeal to you and to myself as well as a scorpio take it easy guys you know couple of days delay couple of days deliberation and a bit of a research is not gonna make us or it's not gonna deprive us from a big progress okay just on the contrary hasty decisions and irrational actions are going to right so that was about scorpio now moving next we do have sagittarius Oh, all right so a uh, promising start here the first one is going to be the two of cups followed by the strength card and we do have the eight of swords so we do have a passive enemies here with those two right and then we do we do have a passive neutrals so that will be very strange cooperation it doesn't have to be love all right just because we do have two of cups as a general reading, it doesn't have to be love, but definitely is going to be supported by emotions, meaning that the person that we want to have something to do with you is going to like you, okay? In one or another way, it could be a flirting, uh, flirting, oh my God, flirting, that transcend further into the future, into a, a relationship. However, it's going to be rather quite strange because of these two that we do have these a passive neutrals. It kind of points that it will reside pretty much outside of the code of conduct that you do have in terms of relationships in general, not just only romantic relationships, but also friendships, but also, um, I don't know, maybe um, uh, career partnerships and so on and so forth. Just to give you an, an example, say that you are moving into a, a, a jazz environment, people, you know, jazz societies, and suddenly, you know, your neighbor comes to be a, a metal listener, and you amazingly find out that you are getting along very well together, just because you are having a different creed doesn't mean that you can't have a common how can i say common interests all right and that will uh sagittarius is going to burst a big bubble uh, uh pretty much is going to make you aware that in term of relationships and people that you are associating yourself with you are placing a, a huge wall of restrictions and for that reason you may have a little friends you know or you may have a pretty much setback into your social life in general now, the other cards here that we do have, which are a passive enemies, it kind of points that um, how can I say it? That you are not going to know how to um, what to do and how to act into that partnership and into that cooperation. And for that reason, you know, you may end up doing awkward stuff and stupid things that you may find yourself ashamed later on. And at certain points throughout the week as well, you may kind of like try to convince yourself that although you may like it, that's not a thing for you, but I don't think that you will be able to because at the end of the day, you know, uh, having a connection with a human being, with someone that actually shares a, an, um, uh, how can I say it, uh, an emotional predisposition with you, it will prevail over the ego and the stubbornness of a, uh, of a oneself. But yeah, you do have all the... Um, all the reasons to think that you may fall in love in case you are not. Uh, but that is not going to be under the usual circumstances that you are used to uh, fall in love under. 
Okay. And so moving next, we do have um, Capricorn. Hello, Gypsy. Thank you for being around, Evelina. See you next time, I guess. Hello, Scylla. Right, so uh, Capricorn, the first one is going to be the uh, Eight of uh, Pentacles, followed by the Five of Cups. Wow, and then we do have the Two of Cups. Well, uh, if Sagittarius had an awkward partnership, now we for for you, Capricorn, that oh my God, that partnership, that partnership. Uh, it's um. It's mended, right? So the, these uh, these cards here are pointing that despite suffering through a loss and suffering through a huge disappointment, you are to understand, you know, that you have chose a path in terms of partnership. That it will, it will be a shame if you abandon at that particular point. Either in terms of career or in terms of relationship, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Especially if it is about relationship, you know that could pretty much uh, speaks about a reconciliation with the next. But you sh you, you need to have a a rather oh my god a rather significant past beforehand. Okay, that that isn't happening just because you had how can I say it um a dreams for being together and you actually never been together. This is uh, needs to happen on a prerequisite of a rather solid past that you do had, and that solid past had its, its fair portion of conscientiousness in it, okay? But for one or another reason, one said something stupid or one did something stupid, and, and things are in the sour road right now. So what happens here, it is that in an attempt for a making a contact, takes place in order to sort out exactly those kind of shenanigans that happened back in the days, either into the business partnership or either into the relationship partnership. And uh, a new vision of the plan you both had back in the days is going to be given. And this vision, this time around, uh, will actually going to be executable. Okay. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles, however, urges you to be rather very meticulous, very thorough, and as well to have a keen eye for the subtleties out there, because otherwise the small stones uh, along the road are exactly what can turn over your courage once again. So that was about Capricorn, and now uh, the next... Um, the next pool is to happen right now, so if you do want your question answered through uh, a professional reading, now is the time you input it here into the uh, here into the posts. And while I'm waiting for the questions to accumulate, I will annoy you a little bit more uh, by telling you that if you want to go for a private reading, you can check out the post and there you're going to find my uh, website. And on the very front page of my website, you're going to see all of my services, their pricing, and you can decide which service is going to suit your needs best and which price is going to fit with your budget best. As well, if you enjoy the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the cards the same way, I am initiating a tarot class at this 21st of June. It's a beginner tarot class, so we are starting from the very, very scratch. It's, the, uh, it's six weeks long, a tarot class, a lecture per week. Uh, it's a two hours long lecture every week. So, um, and at the end of these six weeks, uh, you're going to know hopefully everything about the, ma the major arcana and how to use them in a dedicated spread. And uh, yeah, you will be uh, set to perform your own uh, personal readings and hopefully they will turn into a private readings as well, where you may be eager to open your own business. So in order to sign up for that, you go under the tarot class section of my website and just purchase the class and I'm going to contact you 
uh, via email within 24 hours to explain you how it's going to take place. All right, so let's have a look. All right, we are read for relationships. So let's pick up a job question this time around. So uh, here is the winner right now, or here is my pick, Miriam bon Bodner. Miriam Bodner uh, is asking, is my new job going to work out? So let's have a look, Miriam. Oh my God, uh, I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher your name, but hello, Kayatase. It sounds Japanese. All right, so Miriam, let's have a look if your new job is going to work out for you. Hello, Joyce. Right, so uh, the first one is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. I don't even need to draw the cards. Just by this one, I can say, yes, it's going to work out. As a matter of fact, it will work out better than you have hoped. Okay, at least for the next. I will tell you how much for the next. Um, so we do have the Eight of Pentacles as the second card. Moving next is going to be the Tree of Wands. And the last one for you, wow, that is going to be the Empress. So the only flaw of the job it is that it's going to be rather incoherent okay and people are kind of chaotic here and there so everybody is doing something that nobody knows what they are doing or what they are doing it for so it's going to be a rather chaotic uh, chaotic place and there is there isn't going to be much of a consistency there i mean the, the the company or the business itself doesn't have at least for now a clear picture how, how they are to proceed forward but it doesn't mean that it's going to be for a, a lifetime of the business okay just as a matter of fact i'm going to tell you how long that is going to proceed um uh, by the mid of uh, by the mid of October is going to be that that kind of a thing is going to be by the mid of October. So on the plus that that is on the negative side and is going to uh, kind of obstruct you not by doing your job but by expressing yourself creatively. So uh, here we do have that kind of a, a, a state where you want to give a lot, but just the business itself, because how it's structured and because of the shenanigans happening in it, does not allowing you. And you may find yourself a bit irritated by it, but not annoyed or a, um, how do I say it, uh, discouraged by it. So uh, pretty much this job for you, it is the opportunity to propel yourself forward. It doesn't have to be your last job, but that is the job you need to use for, as, a, as a foundation for whatever change into your life in terms of career you want to do moving forward into the future. Having the three of ones though into the third position, oh my God, that really points, especially in career, that is the e e a fantastic job. It kind of points to throughout the uh, the lifetime of the job that you're going to have. That job is going to give you with the challenges you need that you can input into your portfolio moving forward. So you can attack or rather leap into even further developments. Meaning that this job, in this job itself, you can grow tremendously. Okay, that, that's the first thing. But even if you don't want to grow in this job tremendously, you can use the experience to grow in another company just as much as you would have grown into this company. So, but in my book, Mariam, uh, that is the right job for you, okay? That, that is at least in, in my book. 
So what happens at the middle of October uh, is that uh, a lot will rely on you, okay? Uh, you will have to make some quite uh, big decisions in terms of projects and in terms of career in general. And uh, it will be where your position is going to be decided. So at that point, we may have, we have an opportunity for a promotion, growth, uh, raising to salary, and uh, pretty much uh, a, a very good offer is going to come at your behalf. Now, it's very important at that time to really take a few days of break. Um, how can I say it? To withdraw yourself from the midst of activities so you can maturely decide, are you going to settle for the conditions? Can you not negotiate better conditions? Or maybe it's time for you to leave. Either way is going to suit you. Okay, but it does depend which one is going to serve you best here. Okay, but... With this job, whatever the step is in the middle of October for you, it will be the step which you can secure your career future for life. Okay, and I mean it for life. Okay, so that was about uh, Miriam's uh, job. All right, so uh, I feel generous. I'm gonna choose one more. Uh, just one second to find another one. I saw one that I wanted to answer, but because about relationship, um, that's why I chose one of career. I remember the question. It is just is now beyond my uh, beyond my reach here into the stream. So I'm going to say the question. Hopefully the person is still around and is going to recognize the question. Pretty much the person asks, are they going to find somebody to be with? Because they have been single for 20 years. And I really want to help that person. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, Chero. I'm sorry. I just uh, I just forgot about who who inputted it. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a look. What the cards are gonna show, Chero, is your next potential to end up in a relationship. But you do have to capitalize on it. Okay, the cards are gonna show what you gotta do, what what you should avoid, and under what circumstances you can create a uh, a partnership in terms of Romans, okay? So this, this reading is more like a guidance than telling you that something is carved in stones. Right, so the first one for you is going to be the Seven of Wands, and the uh, next one is going to be the Ten of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Prince, the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups in the traditional deck, and the last one is going to be the Star card. Right, so we do have a very, very promising reading, but there are a lot of things for you to overcome just from the first two here, Seven of, seven of Wands, Ten of Cups in the second position, which is the negative position, as very bad, okay? Uh, and bad from your own personal standpoint. It's not like you don't have opportunities. It is, it's literally what those two cards are pointing. You do have an opportunities. You just don't want to see those opportunities, unfortunately. So I will tell you what it's going to take, but let's first tell you when that's... Uh, Actually, it's right around the corner. It's uh, mid of July to, not, not mid of July, I'm sorry, mid of August to the end of August, okay? So you don't have much time to work over 
your how can I say your your behavior or standpoint so okay so seven of wands shows the cycle here for you I pretty much points that uh, you are gonna have a one chance and one chance only so you you gotta take it like a that this person is gonna make only one advance and you have to capitalize on this advance whatsoever if you miss it it's gone for good so the second card which is the ten of cups falling into the negative position it kind of points that you are giving an impression that you want that you don't want to be um engaged with somebody or to be with somebody maybe you are self-sufficient maybe this is how you look like okay maybe you're not opened emotionally but what you need to show in the world when you go out you know and when you for example visit pubs or social gatherings and etc it is that you are open for a something more that you do want more okay that that is what you need to show then we do have the princess of cups or uh, that is the page of cups into the third position and that is the big card here in this uh, in this particular reading it points that you have to address the overview rather to rather to be stuck on the details meaning that the person which you're going to have a um, a, pot a potential to make a relationship with is not going to be ideal by far all right but you need to learn to accept people with their imperfections and to learn to love them which is going to take a great deal of effort from your behalf you have to make personal reassessment of your own behavior okay of your own standpoints to reassess your standpoints and to reposition yourself in a such a way that you now can accept anybody for with their positive and negative traits and then the uh, the unfolding love and the unconditional support happens at the mid to end of August this year. So you don't have much of a time to work over those those oh, oh my god those things I said. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Danny. Danny, you don't have to apologize for anything, mate. <laughs> Just you are, every time you are apologizing about something, it kind of makes me feel guilty. So don't, uh, don't apologize, please. Okay, couple minutes to rest my vocal cords and we move to the last four star signs. And after that, I'm going to make another pull. So you still have a chance to have your question answered, okay? For this reading, I mean, you mean this deck? That's uh, the new version of Tot Tarot, of Tot, oh my god, Tot, Tot Tarot. Uh, this is how it looks like, just just one second to have its, its cover. Okay, so it's called Millennium Tot, all right? So it's like that, that's the cover, Millennium Tot. Yeah, and you don't have much time, Cheryl, all right? Because you are going to miss this opportunity if not, if you don't work on those things. It's not like you're not going to have another opportunity. But this one under the energy of the star card, it looks very promising, okay? Hello, Rachel. All right, just a couple more minutes, guys, to, to, to gather myself a little bit. So, uh, Cheryl, we can just um, kind of like um, 
conclude that all that is gonna take it's uh it's like compromise isn't it to just you know settle for something even though it's not ideal By the way, good news, guys. All the restrictions in regards to COVID-19 are to be revoked on 15th of June this month in my country. Freedom. Oh, my God. I'm so looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. Good morning, Ruchika. I mean... Indiana. Is it a morning in Indiana? Right, so moving next, we do have um, Aquarius. Uh, I'm in Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a part of European Union, so it's in Europe, and it's in Eastern Europe, on the coast of Black Sea. Oh, India. I thought Indiana. Oh, my God. India, New Delhi. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much uh, morning there. Right, so um, for Aquarius, now the first one is going to be uh, the Nine of Pentacles followed by the King of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have Three of Swords, okay? So uh, what we do have, it is a passive supporters, passive enemies for you Aquarius and um, well, uh, th these uh, these couple of weeks, it does look like that you are going to have a um, some some version of investor if you will um it may happen in many different cases what i mean is that it could be someone that may offer you a job it could be someone that may offer you money it could be someone that may offer you love all right now the bummer is going to be that as uh, as it will seem very good it also throughout the process of you taking this offer, you're going to realize that that person doesn't really have a, the purest intentions ever. What I mean is that it's not like they're aiming to do you harm, but through you, they're aiming about something. And um, because it's not gonna affect you directly, okay? But it is just is going to uh, have a different reason. And I'll try to give you an, an example here say that uh, because this is very common i'm just gonna say it okay say that you are living in the united states you're a citizen american citizen and you are talking with someone from i don't know from asia and you fall in love with that person and he wants to marry you okay or he or she says you know i want to marry you and you are thrilled to do it and so on and so forth and you marry this person and you realize that they offered you marriage because of the green card right very common these days but that doesn't mean that they don't love you, okay? It is just for them, is with one shot, two rabbits. Now, this is an expression in my country. So they would, so they hit two targets with one shot. And um, I don't know if you will be able to overcome that, that sense and that feeling, okay? It's just, you will feel betrayed. Now, on the plus side, uh, it has nothing personal to do with you, okay? It's just... You know, for them, this is the efficient way of doing things, okay? But uh, it does depend, you know, how you're going to take on it. Once again, yeah, uh, if you um, are thrilled or rather like if you are determined 
to stay by with this person either in a business endeavor or in a relationship endeavor or in a friendship endeavor, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you should try to forget as fast as you can about the uh, the surreptitious intentions that that person had. So you should not allow those things to dwell and twist uh, and um, twist in your mind, because otherwise they are going to undermine otherwise a a, a flower's development that you both can have. I mean, if that's uh, if we're following the narrative I said, although that person may offer you marriage for the green card. The marriage is going to be good marriage, okay? It's going to be a fantastic marriage, in fact, because this person is going to be devoted, is going to do their part in the marriage, and so on and so forth. It's just, you know, they just used you for the green card. That's, so it does depend how you're going to take on that surreptitious uh, intentions once again. So uh, moving next, uh, we do have um, Pisces. All right, so for Pisces, we do have the Nine of Wands followed by the Knights of Swords. And then we do have the Two of Cups. So those uh, those three cards. And uh, that is uh, quite, of a, uh, quite of an abnormal or unusual, um, kind of like, how can I say, a cluster or a collision of cards. So what we do have here it is a active friends, then we do have an active enemies. And um, pretty much you're going to come to the awareness that you have been played for a fool. But uh, giving that much to your rivals or to the uh, smart people, quotes in quotes, that thought that they played you for a fool, you are to recover very, very fast from it. Um, a played for a fool in the sense of that uh, you have been manipulated to make certain decisions that will uh, benefit someone else that kind of like presenting themselves either as a good friend or as a good suitor to you, okay? And you are going to, throughout those couple of weeks, you're going to understand that this person is actually infiltrating your environment and he's wreaking havoc, actually is undermining the progress you have done thus far in terms of career or in terms of relationship in general. So uh, instead of allowing that person to, how can I say, to ravage, your environment, you instead are going to determine yourself to make the necessary changes that, that are going to benefit you and solely you. And if that person is okay with that, then, when they're, then they're welcome to stay. If they're not, well, then they're welcome to go away. But the point here, Pisces, it is that you are going to define and take control over your turf and you're not going to allow anybody to dictate the rules of your life, of your relationship life, of your career life, and so on and so forth. Now, that drive, though, is going to um, invoke a lot of, uh, how can I say, havoc in, uh, in your social circle. So you may expect to have a little bit of a confrontation, wrangles, and, and, com and uh, how can I say, arguments uh, with your friends and with your beloved one as well. Uh, because uh, all that they're going to see in that person which is trying to manipulate you is how sweet woman and how sweet guy they are and why are you acting like that, you know, like a monster. But you're going to know that, you know, that person is using exactly that poker, not poker face, but let's say sweet face to their ends to, mani to manipulate the situation. And you're not going to have any of it any longer. So that's about you. Okay, so moving next, uh, we do have uh, Aries. Uh, 
All right, so for Aries, uh, oh my God, Aries, the first one is going to be the seven of uh, one of cups, followed by the six of cups, and the third one is going to be the uh, page of pentacles. Um, there is only one way to say on the first of all, we do have a passive supporters, passive friends, and that is where a friendship transcends into a more than a friendship. Are you gonna allow it to happen? Well, that is your choice to say, okay? So obviously, if you are in already solid relationship, that's not really a good thing, okay? Because a friend of yours actually tells you that they have, they, they have feelings for you, but you already have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that you so much love, for example, I know a good situation. But if you are a single, uh, as, a, uh, as a dog, that is a uh, expression in my country, then that will be more than a welcome. But again, you do decide, do you want that thing to develop or not? What you need to know it is that this person, it's, uh, it's very devoted. I mean, they, they had you in, in their heart for a quite a while. It is just they didn't have the courage to confront it. But now in those couple of weeks, they will say, you know what, what the heck? I mean, what is there to lose? At least at the very end, I am going to know because um, the answer yes or no is anybody's guess. Probably you have gave them, a hint, gave them a hint recently that something may happen, you know, something may occur. The thing is uh, that with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups, even at the initial stage, you may see that person only as a friend. Should you decide to give them a chance, very quickly uh, you are going to start developing emotional and physical connection to them, okay? So we are talking about chemistry and development of love simultaneously. So it's highly advisable really to give them a chance. Right, so that was about uh, Pisces now moving, not Pisces, but Aries. And now last but not least, we do have uh, Taurus. All right, so for Taurus, Nine of Wands is once again followed by, wow, the King of Swords. And then we do, oh my God, and we do have the Sun card. So Taurus takes the cake, okay? It just, it takes the cake, really. Oh my God, so where do I even begin with? Okay, so first of all, we do have a active supporters, active friends with those cards. And um, Nine of Wands in, in, in the Sun card, it's when um, you really understand whom with or where at your growth lies. And you truly understand how to accomplish it, okay? You truly understand how to uh, mesmerize, for example, the individual you want to be with. And you truly understand how to capitalize on, uh, for example, milestones that you recently uh, uh, achieved, or you truly understand how to chase a promotion. It is just the thing Ed, is that you are going to understand how to accomplish happiness. That's, that's so huge. The Nine of Wands and the Sun card, guys. It's where you have the, the experience. It is where you do have the patience. It is where you do have the uh, the necessary awareness as well, you know, to allow those situations naturally to gift you with success, growth, happiness, love, you name it. And so the other thing, it is the Nine of Wands and uh, the King of Swords. And I said that you understand how to accomplish it. Now the question is, can you? Well, yes, you can. Because Nine of Wands and the King of Swords is where you do take your time to make a careful analysis on the situation and on the know-how that you are already going to have and transform it into, oh my God, immaculately effective actions. It's, it's actions that nobody can resist, okay? It's like you are... It's not even storming. In the gaming world, it's like zerging the situation. Zerging meaning giving no chance whatsoever 
to resi of resistance. Your plan is going to be like those kind of like a mastermind plans, you know, that you are uh, thinking 10 steps ahead of time and etc, etc. Et it's going to be just ridiculously good, right? So yeah, it does look like the two Taurus are just taking the cake. You do have the best reading whatsoever of those 12 that we do have. The best cycle is yours. Right. Uh, all right, Evelyn, uh, I'm going to answer you tomorrow, okay, um, about uh, the uh, lack of participants that you made uh, in regards to your class. I do understand. Uh, uh, according to your uh, input here, it is that you missed the last couple of, sec of sessions. That's all right. I'm going to send you the videos of them, okay? If, if that's the problem, I'm just going to send you the videos and, and that's that. Because through purchasing the class, you do own the product, meaning that you do own the videos. Right, so the last pool is to happen once again. Um, if you want your private reading, guys, you can go to my website. And at the very front page of it, you're going to see all of my services. They're pricing and you get to choose, you know, what service feels, uh, you know, your needs and which price feels your bills. Uh, another thing is that uh, the new tarot classes are starting at 21st of June and if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, you can participate into them. Uh, the beginner's class is starting once again on 21st of June. It's a six weeks long a tarot class uh, with a, a lecture every, uh, oh my God, every week for a two hours long and uh, in those lectures I'm giving you all the information that I can, I have and I can, and I'm coming up with uh, so for the major arcana and uh, how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, uh, and in the dedicated uh, in the positions into my dedicated spread for major arcana. And uh, at the end of this class, even though it's only about the major arcana, at that point uh, you will be set to do your own readings with the major major arcana only. So my point is that at the end of the class you will you can incorporate it practically into a readings okay so now i'm gonna run through the questions there is a that is beyond uh that is beyond taro okay um the answer to that question is beyond taro because uh, if I can answer that question, I would have been able to answer what are the uh, what are the numbers of the lottery. Okay, and I just would have been a lottery millionaire. All right, so we do have uh, a winner here that is going to be Misty Bur. Bur oh my god, Bur Burciaga? Bur Burciaga? Burciaga, I think it's Burciaga how it's pronounced. So, uh, Misty, let's have a look. Should you give a chance to the poor man? Um, so what the cards are going to show in your case, it is how, if you give the man a chance, you know, how the things are going to move forward, okay? And you get to decide, should you give him a chance or not? Bursiaga, okay, so Bursiaga. I'm sorry about butchering it. All 
All right. So the first one uh, is going to be uh, the Hierophant, followed by uh, the Ace of Wands. Moving next, we do have the, the Emperor, and the last one is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Uh, so the time frame is actually by the end of June, so by the end of June you should decide should you give the man a chance or not. So I can say, so I can tell you what you can expect. If you expect that this relationship is going to give you more than gave you before, that's not happening. Okay, that, if the, what my point is that if, relation, if that relationship was boring, it's going to be boring once again. Now, if your question is, did your ex learn his lesson? He did. A big time, I mean. And whatever he is telling you, he really means it. Meaning it and being able to accomplish it are two different things. Bottom line, however, of that reading, it is that the potential it is that with this person, you can definitely uh, ensure your future. So that relationship can go a, a long, long run. It's just it's not going to be a very exciting one. That's that's the whole issue. But if you are ready to settle, if you are ready to just have, you know, a very calm, very peaceful and very ordinary and normal relationship, then that's the thing for you. If you want exciting enterprises, you know, and very passionate endeavors and dramas and all those kind of type things, it's not for you. Okay, it's just, it isn't. Because what happens here, it is that at the next stage, where if you decide to give the man a chance, that relationship should be founded by trust and reliability, not by love and passion. Okay, and so you get to decide, do you want to give the man a chance or not? Right, so that was, um, that was it, guys. Uh, not exactly. It's not soulmate. It's a very, very compatible person. All right, guys, uh, that will be for tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know when the next live is going to be, probably in a few days. Um, and once again, if you do want a uh, private reading with me, you can check out the post. There you're going to find my website. And uh, from it, you can purchase any reading you want uh, from the very front page. There you're going to see all the versions of the readings and their pricing. And as well, uh, 21st of June, my next um, tarot class starts, the beginner's tarot class where I'm going to teach you how to read the major arcana, how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship questions, into the dedicated spread that it is a major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use it only with major arcana. And at the end of this beginner's class, uh, you can, how can I say, you, you, you can start your own personal readings, okay? You can conduct your own personal readings for your friends, for yourself, for your clients, for example, okay? So if you do want to... Um, sign up for the class, uh, go to the tarot classes section in my web, in my website and just purchase the class and I'm going to contact you via email in 24 hours, giving you, an e giving you details how the class is going to take place. So yeah, that being said, thank you so much once again for sticking around. It was an honor for me to, your, to be your host tonight and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.